Understanding mobile and immobile nutrients. Getting it right. It's important to understand mobile and immobile nutrients when it comes to problems in our aquaponic and soil gardens. Just because we amend with something does not mean the problem is going to go away overnight. Plants cannot eat and digest eggshells. Amendments often need time to break down and become water soluble. That takes time, sometimes months. Only then can the plant's roots absorb them and the, and the leaves transpire water, moving the nutrients throughout. Mobile deficiencies always show up in older parts of the plant first. Deficiencies such as potassium, the plant will move what it needs from old growth to new growth and let the old growth die. This helps the plant survive but not thrive. Immobile deficiencies always show up in the newest parts of the plant first, most often new leaves. Deficiencies such as iron, the plant cannot move it around because it's locked into place. New growth cannot get what it needs and leaving it unable to grow properly. Aquaponics, I often see these two deficiencies confused. This video is only an overview. This is a whole branch of science that humans have been working to understand since we started growing plants. Nitrogen is a mobile primary nutrient used in the formation of amino acids, vitamins, proteins, and cell wall division. Deficiency symptoms, slow growth, uniform yellowing of older leaves, small fruit. Possible solutions, in aquaponics we can feed more, we can add more fish, less plants, and make sure that pH is adjusted properly. In soil, compost, fertilizer, blood meal, urea, and make sure that pH is adjusted properly. As we can see here, anything below six, we start losing nitrogen, and anything above eight, we start losing our nitrogen availability. Phosphorus is a mobile primary nutrient used in energy storage and transfer, cell growth, root and seed formation, growth, and water use. Symptoms will first appear in the older leaves. Leaves will turn dark, dull, blue, green, reddish, red violet, or violet in color, become pale in severe deficiencies. Possible solutions in aquaponics, we can use phosphoric acid and make sure that pH is adjusted properly. I suggest you use that with caution. Soil, compost, fertilizer, bone meal contains a lot of phosphorus in it and adjust that pH properly. As we can see, anything below about 6.4, we start losing phosphorus availability quickly. And anything above 7.5, we start losing our phosphorus availability. Potassium is a mobile primary nutrient used in carbohydrate metabolism, water efficiency, fruit formation, and disease resistance. Deficiency symptoms, old leaves are affected first, causing the leaves to turn yellow and then brown at the tips, margins, and between the veins can crinkle, curl, roll along the edges, die, and drop off prematurely. In aquaponics, we can use kelp, potassium silicate, potassium carbonate, potassium acetate, and make sure that pH is adjusted properly. Soil, we can use compost, fertilizer, adjust that pH properly. We could also use kelp, potassium silicate, potassium carbonate. In emergency situations, we can use some potassium acetate. As we can see here, anything below six, we start losing potassium's availability. Sulfur is an immobile secondary nutrient used in amino acid formation, enzymes, vitamin development, seed production, and chlorophyll formation. Younger leaves are affected first because it's immobile. Pale green, yellowish green to completely yellow. In aquaponics, you can use potassium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, sulfuric acid, and adjust the pH. In soil, compost, fertilizer, potassium sulfite, magnesium sulfite, and make sure that pH is adjusted properly. As we can see, anything below six, we start losing sulfur's availability. Calcium is immobile. It's a secondary nutrient used in cell division, nitrogen metabolism, and fruit set. It'll show up in the younger leaves first because it is immobile. 
Growth is inhibited. Leaves are unusually small, misshapen, brown spots developing along the margins. I've actually had this problem before. Possible solutions in aquaponics, calcium carbonate, calcium bicarbonate, calcium acetate, and adjust the pH properly. In soil, we can use compost, fertilizer, bone meal, eggshells, and adjust that pH properly. As we can see here, anything below about 6.4, we start losing calcium's availability. Magnesium is a somewhat mobile, it's a secondary macronutrient used in chlorophyll production, phosphorus mobility, iron utilization, and fruit deficiency symptoms. Both younger and older leaves are affected, but you're gonna see it in the uh, younger leaves first. You'll see yellowing between the leaf veins, somewhat reddish brown tint and early leaf fall. In aquaponics, we can use a magnesium carbonate, magnesium sulfite, Epsom salt, magnesium acetate, which is a solution we have to make up, and it makes sure that pH is adjusted properly. Soil, compost, fertilizer, magnesium sulfate, probably magnesium carbonate would work also, and adjust that pH properly. As we can see here, anything below about 6.5 or 6.4 or so, we start losing magnesium's availability. Magnanese is an immobile micronutrient. It's used in uh, enzyme systems, aids in chlorophyll, potassium, and calcium's availability. I have a video that talks about how they interact with each other. Uh, deficiency symptoms, younger leaves are affected, resulting in brown dead spots, development between the leaves. Leaf margins become crinkled, curled, and wavy, and shoot growth can be reduced. In aquaponics, lower that pH. In soil, compost, fertilizer, and lower the pH. As we can see, manganese becomes less and less available as the pH goes up. Iron is an immobile so it's going to show up in the in the new growth first. It's a micronutrient used in chlorophyll formation, oxygen carrier, and cell division and growth. Young leaves are, are, are affected, resulting in foliage being bleached, chlorotic, or pale between distinctively green veins. Fading appears first around the leaf margins and then spreads inward until only the veins are green. It's pretty distinctive when you see it. Possible solutions in aquaponics, lower the pH, chelated iron, F-E-E-D-D-H-A, or F-E-D-T-P-A. Uh, in soil, compost, fertilizer, lower the pH, chelated iron, F-E-E-D-D-H-A. As we can see, as the pH rises, it, it becomes less and less available. It's also important to note here that you can't just bury rusty nails and expect the iron to be available. It doesn't work that way. Boron is an immobile micronutrient used in pollen grain germination, seed and cell wall formation, maturity promotion, and sugar translocation. Because it's immobile, you'll see it in the new growth first affects vegetative reproductive growth of plants resulting in inhibition of cell expansion, reduced fertility. In aquaponics, lower the pH. In soil, compost, fertilizer, lower the pH. As we can see here, drastically starts to drop off below five. At about 7.2, we start losing availability. Copper, nim mobile or low mobile. You'll see it in the new growth first. Uh, it's a micronutrient used in metabolic catalyst uh, functions in photosynthesis, reproduction, and increase of sugar. Young leaves are affected first, uh, resulting in dark leaves with purple or blue undertones. The edges and tips begin to turn white and pale and yellow. Uh, possible solutions, lower your pH in soil, compost, fertilizer, lower pH. We gotta be really careful in aquaponics not to get our copper out of control because it will affect our fish. Last but not least, zinc is an immobile uh, micronutrient. 
It's used in hormones, enzyme systems, chlor chlorophyll production, carbohydrates, starch, and seed formation. It's immobile, so we'll see it in the new growth first. Young leaves are affected, resulting in bloom and leaf, leaf out late. Young buds, when buds open, leaves are atypically pointed, narrow, undersized, and yellowish. Possible solutions in aquaponics lower that pH. Uh, soil compost fertilizer lower the pH. As we can see, just like with copper, it drops off drastically as our pH goes up. Below five, it, it, it drops off quite a bit, but we should never be that low anyway. Immobile nutrients cannot be moved from old growth to new growth. Symptoms will always show up in the new growth first. Mobile nutrients can be moved from old growth to new growth. Symptoms will show up in the old growth first. Making sure that you have your pH correct within the green zone, 6.2, 6.3 to about 7.2, 7.4, assures that maximum availability for all of our nutrients. If you get something out of this video, like, share, and subscribe. Make comments down below and have a fantastic season.